Well, a blow to the Republicans' fight for a majority in the Senate. Decision, Decision Desk HQ projects Arizona Democrat incumbent Senator Mark Kelly wins re-election, defeating Republican challenger Blake Masters. But Masters says the race isn't over yet, waiting for every single vote to be counted before he concedes. News Nation's Robert Sherman is live for us in Phoenix tonight with the very latest on this election. Hey, Robert. Hey there, Marky. And now all eyes seem to be shifting focus over towards the uh, Arizona governor's race with Carrie Lake and Katie Hobbs here. Uh, this is the first time that we've actually seen protesters outside of the Maricopa County Elections Office. Uh, there is this sense of frustration on the ground here that this process is taking this long in order to get some finality here in this race. Again, this is Arizona law. People can drop off ballots all the way up to Election Day, and it takes some time in order to count those. That's the main issue that we're seeing here. Uh, we do want to show you a live look at the tabulation center inside the Maricopa County Election Office. There are still about 250, 260,000 votes outstanding in Maricopa County, and we are expecting to get a drop of somewhere around 70 to 80,000 votes here tonight. Again, most of these are mail in ballots. They're still going through the signature verification process. That's why this is being dragged out so long, uh, why it could still be until early next week until we know who has won uh, the Arizona governor's race. Uh, but the number that I want you to take a look at is the 290,000 number. That is the number of mail in ballots that were dropped off on Election Day which are more than likely, as Joe said, is similar to the case in Nevada, more than likely these are going to decide who wins uh, these races here in Arizona. Republicans believe that these are going to trend similar to in-person Election Day votes and that they're going to win this batch. But they are tapering expectations for the batch that is released tonight, believing that we're going to see more precincts that are in downtown Phoenix area, the suburbs, the rural parts of Maricopa County. Those will be coming over the next couple of days. As you said, Marky, Decision Desk HQ, they've already called the U.S. Senate race here. But Republican Blake Masters is not conceding at this hour. He says he wants to see all the votes counted before he makes a call to Mark Kelly. Marky. Yeah, this thing not done just yet. Robert Sherman, thank you so much. We'll see you in just a little bit. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.